Jesus said, make first the inside of the cup clean. First. Is that okay? Does he want the outside clean too? Yes. So some of us, all of us, not some, me included, I have things on the outside that are not okay yet. Why? Because God is still working on the inside. What do you think that scripture meant? You think he was talking about cups? Do you think God was talking about your kitchen chores? No, 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 no. He wasn't thinking about it at all. All he was interested in was your life. He said it. Go, go read the passage in the book of Matthew. He said it. He was referring to, he was talking to the Pharisees and talking about how they are hypocrites. Focus on the outside. But God's method is focus on the inside first. Then work it out. Have you seen a house with a very high fence and inside there's nothing? Huh? You haven't? It's quite deceptive, right? Some with barbed wire. Then there's nothing inside. There's a tiny shack that the caretaker lives in with his wife and four children. Not a pretty picture. But have you seen lovely houses with no fence? Which house would you prefer to live in? Uh, no, well, you're thinking I'm asking about security. I'm not asking which one is safe. I'm asking which one you prefer to live in. The lovely house without a fence. Yeah. God, it seems, to a degree, is interested in your living quarters looking better than your external appearance. Who are the kinds of people that, let's say, is not the caretaker, it's the owner of the house, and it's not because of security? Do you know people that love to put up external appearances? That want everything to look fine and cozy, that wear very nice clothes and are hungry. What does the book of Proverbs say? It says it's better to be considered poor than have a servant than to appear rich and be hungry. <laughs> it's in the book of Proverbs. There are people, they appear like all is fine. They are hungry. God prefers you to appear little but have something. God is not big on appearance. Man looks at the outward. God looks at the heart. Heart. Good. So, I think the principle is so. That we are going to have to work on our inside. That's why we focus on that. Inside, inside. Of course, spiritually, that implies you should focus more on your spiritual life than what people think of you and all that. Um, but the outside will also be clean eventually, yes? The outside will also be clean, yes? You don't want to agree to this one. Whether you like it or not, the outside will be clean. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. Your outside will be clean. You must. Why? Because man looks at the outward. And you have been sent to be a witness to, to God. Eh? God sent you to be a witness to God. God needs to be born again. Eh? You've been called to be a witness to men. <laughs> the outside matters. Don't ever say it doesn't matter. The Bible says man looks at the outward. It seems to so don't say, I don't care, I can walk around naked. I don't care. It's according to personal conviction. Personal. The L usually gets missing. Personal. No, you've been called to be a witness of men. Now God cares. You know, sometimes you wonder, how come it seems God doesn't care? That's why there are many people that look at the external and can't believe God is at work in their life. And I'm always telling them, say, you're a joker. You're an absolute joker. I've seen those with all the externals. The internal is what did Jesus say? Dead men's bones. Rottenness. Oh, give me, give me externally wayward any day with internal cleanliness. Any day. The real challenge is opinions of men. What do people think? That's the real challenge. That's what people are bothering about. What people think. What people think. Once you can overcome what people think, it's easier. It's way more easier. Some people care about what the religious folk think. Some people care about what the world folk think. Ah, let's not offend the worldly folk. There are so many here in our church. If you offend them, they may not come. If you start being strict, then the other ones are offended. Ah, no. What will all the religious people think? They will think I can't. Those people usually go with volume. But if you're going to be a servant of God, according to the book of 1 Thessalonians, you can't do any of that. He clearly asked her, he said, I don't seek to please men. You can't seek to please men. You can't seek to please men. It cannot be men. You must seek to please God. I think it's chapter 3. Your focus must be 
God. What is God saying? Is God pleased at all times? Not what people think. What people think will pass. You cannot be externally driven. God's lighthouse. Are you listening to me? You cannot be. You can't be that lost. You can't be so. God starts from the inside out. You must strive to be like God. Always strive to look at the inside of a thing. Stop looking at the externals. Always look at the content. Look at what happens. Look at the results. Look at the fruit of the thing. When you squeeze, what comes out? You cannot look at the outside. You see a loaf of bread looking like a loaf of bread. Then you tear it open. A baby could have hidden inside. Big space. And then next time you buy that kind of loaf again. Then you see proper or former bread. Compact. Small. Then you eat two. You're satisfied. Two slices. You should look at the inside of a thing. Not the externals. You can't be so full of flea. You don't look at I Look at this big fine hospital. But they don't have equipment or skill. People go there and die. They treat you poorly. Or a hotel. They fine externally. Why, why would you go to... Then you go to another hotel. They treat you very nice. The rooms are well handled. The ACs are working. The thing is painting. Water is flowing. Everything is nice. Externally, it's not so fine. You will stay in the nice place. You will not go to the externals. You cannot eat the externals. Externals have no consequence in the kingdom except for naked people hypocritical people those are the kinds of people that operate on external you can't be a proper child of god and externally motivated it's ridiculous don't even make sense they went your first child died second child died because of botched medical practice you keep going back no can you not see can't you see how beautiful it is is it not better to call a midwife she brings out child smoothly. What is it with appearances? But I'm saying it's pathetic how external people are. People are so external. I, I'm a, I am in amazement at how external people are. How their minds can, in spite of proof, repeated, they still operate on what they see. So you have a lecturer that is nice and teaches you well. And all that. You don't respect him. Then you have this mean, nasty thing. You respect him. What's wrong with it? Why? It's fallenness. It's, it's the effect of sin and death. 